and guess what? We're live yet again on August the 5th. 2021 for Thankful Thursday Reflection. And I'm going to put something in here, Kathy, because guess what? It's what? my big brother's birthday today. Yay, happy birthday, happy big birthday. brother. That's My awesome. big brother, Gary Harvey, he's in Newfoundland shooting a television series with CBC. So if you're watching, Gary, I love you. And um, I wish you a great birthday. That's, That's what great. I'm thankful for, is I have a brother to say happy birthday. That's awesome, Jeanette. And I'm Kathy Fester and co-founder of Gratitude Appreciation Summits International. And we are so excited to have yeah. a special guest tonight, Christina Henderson, who we just met a few days ago. Um, it turns out she went to school with my husband. Who was to know? <laughs> it's like, it's so incredible. And um, she is delightful. She's um, got an amazing attitude towards gratitude yeah. Ooh, attitude because of gratitude, gratitude. Ooh, nice so did you know that gratitude kathy did you know that gratitude is the short form for great attitude yes it is yes Ooh. Mm -hmm. so welcome welcome christina. welcome christina thank you so much thank you for having me here i know we just met a few short days ago but it feels like we've known each other much longer very and true I'm very true to be here yeah, thank well, you, you have known each other's other <laughs> much yeah. longer. Yeah, your dad and my husband. Um, is, yeah, it goes ways back. I think that's really, really cool. I, um, yeah, we made an immediate connection for so many reasons. And it just reminded me of how important it is to share kindness and be kind to one another throughout your entire life. And of course, those of you watching know that gratitude, appreciation, our whole mantra is how to be intentional with showing that and doing that, actively doing that. And, um, you know, if if you, your dad and my husband hadn't had the relationship, we may not have the same connection that we yeah. had the other night. Yeah, and, yeah that's um, right. It's, it's so true. People we meet and you're kind to, you never know when you're going to meet them up again. Because folks, this world is a lot smaller than we think. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. So is Christina, tell us what your, well, I see peer support, consultations and facilitation. And is that a spelling mistake? Peer spective counseling? That's no, it is not. Spell. That is, that is intentional. That oh. is intentional. Yes. So peer perspective uh, consulting is my new brainchild, I'm calling it. Um, so, and it ties in so beautifully with what uh, you ladies are doing with your gratitude and appreciation and um, which obviously is another reason that I think we connected so well because we're just of like mind. Um, so peer perspective consulting has to do with peer support. Okay. And uh, peer support, it, is a form of support that comes from a place of lived experience. Hmm. So, um, and it comes from a place really, I believe, of gratitude and appreciation. Because the things that I've gone through in my life um, have led me to be so incredibly grateful for so many things. Um, from huge things to the smallest things. It's uh, led me to be more mindful of, um, of the everyday, of, to be more mindful of how I treat people mm. as well. Because through peer support for myself, I've learned about gratitude and kindness. Mm -hmm. And I want to pass that on to others. And I want to use my lived experience to help others see what to find the gratitude in their life experience. That is so, so yeah, that's so beautiful, yeah, Christina, because you're what you're doing is you are serving others um, yeah. on a daily basis. And that's really, I truly believe why we're here uh, on this yeah. planet is to serve one another. It's not to take, Absolutely. it's to serve one another and help one another become better people. Yep, absolutely. And, and what I find so amazing, the more that I do this work, because I'm a teacher by trade, and I continue, I'm still a teacher. Um, but I'm also doing this work, because I it's so important. But it, it not only I'm giving to others, and I feel like I'm giving back. Mm -hmm. But it feels it fills my own bucket as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And it actually, you know, people often say to me, Well, how do you how do you do all of this? 
how do you do the teaching? And then I have two special needs children at, who are now 25, but I've always called them children. No, no. Regardless. <laughs> so, um, you know, you have two special needs children. Uh, now you're starting this business. Like, how do you do it all? And it comes from uh, a passion. It comes from, again, the gratitude and the appreciation. Um, my boys were born 25 years ago at just over a pound each. They weren't expected to survive. And now they're the most amazing, resilient individuals that I've ever met on the planet and teach me gratitude and appreciation every single day. Awesome. My students that I work with, I get gratitude and appreciation from them every single day, yeah. even when they're driving me crazy. Yes, <laughs> I can relate to that one. <laughs> yeah, Christina, you shared with us, and I think there's a very important story that you shared with us that happened yesterday. So when mm -hmm. you lived in a moment that I think we all have lived in and didn't step up and do something, but you stepped up and did something yesterday. And I think it's a very important story to share, please. Okay. okay. So yesterday I was at the mall with my one of my sons and we were in the food court. And uh, as we were having our lunch, uh, this lady was walking. She was trying to get between tables. She had a walker. She was also uh, hooked up to oxygen. Um, and she she looked like she was struggling a little bit. And she walked by our table and she stopped. And it's interesting because I'm not sure why she stopped at me because there was other people, mm. but uh, I kind of like to think that I was putting out maybe some positive vibes into the, into the, into the universe at the time. Um, but anyway, she stopped at me and she said, you know, she says, I, this getting old, I, I, is terrible. I hate it. I'm hooked up to oxygen. I have a walker. I have to ask people to move out of my way. Like, it's just terrible. And I put my hand on hers on her walker. And I said, you know what? I said, but isn't it wonderful that you are here today and that you can walk in the mall and that you can ask people, excuse me, I need to go by like they, just that those actions. And I said, are you here with somebody today? She said, yes, I'm here with one of my with one of my good friends who I'm going to find. And I said, well, there's something else to be grateful for. You're meeting with a good friend for lunch. You're in the mall and you're able to do this you don't have anybody supporting you you're doing this i said what a strong person you are and she just looked at me and she said you know i never thought of it that way before all about perspective Wait. yeah so Wait. she left Wait. with a smile that made me have a smile I'm that in cry, turn my okay. my son was looking at me across the table because you know mom that was pretty cool that you that you said that to her so then my hope is is that my son would then carry that forward so so all of this to me has a ripple effect right with my life experience i feel like i can lean into that vulnerability to say that to to somebody who i who's a total stranger to me right but Beautiful. in a way that they walk away and now they're smiling you know for Beautiful. even if it's just for five minutes or two minutes yeah that person is smiling compared to looking down because of, for lack Very of a better cool. way to put it, like, what life is, right? Like, yeah. all, like all, all the things to kind of feel so sad about it getting old. And oh, I just, it was a beautiful story that needed to be shared. So thank you so much, Christina. Um, when you told it 10 minutes ago, I didn't cry, but now I'm crying because it's just, <laughs> but it, you know what? what we hope for. Yeah, it, exactly. And it, and, yeah. and, let's for people that are watching tonight because we're going to wrap this call up the um i challenge everybody if you see somebody struggling out there and has a frown or looks like they're struggling or needs some help reach out and be kind to them right give them a smile it takes more muscles to frown than to smile right that's right that's right, right. So I challenge everybody to do that if you see somebody in need let's let's spread some kindness out there folks well okay, thank you are we ready to spread some kindness? We are. Here we go. Put our hands together. Half a heart, half a heart. Pump it three times. One, two, three. Kindness up to the world. Thank you so much, Christina, for joining us tonight. You are a beautiful, beautiful person. Um, this Thank is just so the much. beginning. This is just the beginning, my friend. Just the beginning. Well, I am so excited for the journey ahead. Thank you both so much for having me on here today. Thank I so you. appreciate it.
And thank you for those that came on live tonight. We'll see you next week for Thankful Thursday. Bye for Bye. now.